This is Gaga CFM on a Friday, the TGIF edition. And today we are super excited because we are in the company of a giant. And join us again as we bid farewell uh, to the month of women. August. I'm going to put put the name on a pedestal and then shining the spotlight on the MCT. Hala Lamboroto, Pakama Mboroto, Watinda Fazi, Watinda Imbo, or Daba Fazi. But I said, it's love is cool. It looks so classic. Selwa abantu besli sa city wokane matota pezani pezani ages ba halise kaku lugwa zige labo ababa ba makaza e kana makelo abo abans e indimeni eza sugar sugar kaga CFM ge na lole ilitande gusilba bege e kuluini e besige li aba shiny sage gokona so it's time to celebrate and honor our women the who hail from our kingdom of the warrior as kuma ge gwa zulu natali kose silo umisu zulu as we celebrate and honor women from KZN who are doing great things this woman. Month, uh, the annual Kaga CFM Shira Awards 2022. They are upon us, yes. and this is a highly anticipated event uh, that honors women who are born and bred in KZN who are making significant moves locally and internationally. So, Yongege Imyaga Kaga CFM names the uh, awards after a great woman. Yakumbula Gonyaga 2020 uh, was named after the veteran actress, uh, the late Mama Mary Twala. Yes. Uh, may she forever rest in power. Yep. And in 2021, it was named after the multi-talented storyteller, uh, author, and poet, Dr. Kina Mshope. In 2022, we're very proud to announce that uh, the prestigious award is named after the great veteran and actress. Drums, please. <laughs> Dr. Tamdim Charlie Jones. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you don't know who I'm talking about, then uh, you need to creep up from under that rock that you're living in because she needs no introduction. She's revered in this country and abroad. She's celebrated by all South Africans. Uh, she was born and bred in the KZN and starred in highly noticeable South African television shows uh, that include It's Good, It's Nice. <laughs> yes, as Uta, Utogo, so I beg your pardon. And Nagwimbe Uge, uh, just to mention a few. Uh, today, this phenomenal woman is joining us for a much anticipated chat. Please welcome Dr. Tembi Mchali Jones. Ah. Oh. I love the fact that you didn't miss the doctor part. Yes, it's very important. <laughs> they must know. They must know. Recognize. <laughs> Maggie. So, what is it? Let's come and get a good saga to get a CFM. Yeah, boy, that's cool. I'm not saying too so. Let's come and get a doctor. Oh, I'm going to try. Let's come and get a doctor. Eh, sasa sasa zizo sbusi segi le si a toko zaga kulo gutsi be now. Sekonipa. Over the years and everything that you've achieved. these prestigious awards after. Oh, I was going FM. So Mangabegu Abantabangani, Abagu Kalalisayo, a big niggers are a cousin gag, young Jabli Saga Kulova, especially Nakala Mina Gulum Sebes. Some some of you be Ben Gazala Nuzal, yep, or Dogushuti Umsebenzuam, Nubonile, Natinan Kula, Nakulela Gona, and I'm trying to send in Begala with a pedestal. I am so honored, very, very honored. Mina, you'll find a nose this is Kulenda. <laughs> like, like you know, when a person is a constant guest in your living room, yeah. so when we end up, you take ownership of the person, you're like, ah, this is my big sister. I feel like she's my mom. Yeah. Because I also grew up with her, but <laughs> and I used to look at her talk, I was like, man, yeah. when I grow up, I'm going to Coco Dance. Man, Coco Dance is cool. I mean, the way she was so vulnerable, she said, so this cut a catch off guard and unaware by must schemes us do. Yeah. No, you know, you can't fall for it again. <laughs> and she would fall for it again I and had again. I a very soft spot for this too. No? <laughs> so so. You, you, you touched a little bit about uh, Abantu Abasha um, having grown up looking at you on mm. our screens. Take us through your own growing up. Let's let's talk about uh, Dr. Tembim Jali Jones' upbringing. What kind of upbringing do you have? You understand, um, but is that where everything started for you? 
Oh, yeah. Um, well, I was born here, Wamash, in Kumbane. But, uh, you know, my parents took me. We were Sala no Kokoam, Lee, Kwazulu, Emasabatin. That's where I grew up. Nisala no Kuram no Kokoam, Lucing Omo, Nisenga, Nilima, Nesayonke, Lem Sebenzi, Yasemakaya, Nazanga Buella. Because when I, when I was born, no one was showing a Gabibiko. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, it was one of these storms. This is Bonayola. Oh, That's why no. It's oh. only about But I was about 13 years. in 1959. Banning the foot of Banning Hang Funda Nabong, Alizing Alizos Catabu, Balegam Betty, Babisalawa E, no Jeff Hatebe, no no Manta Langa, those were my schoolmates. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah. lovely. Yeah. And, mm. and then the love for art, Ikarini, Niganjan, what? The love for art, Nami, Angias, Nangit Mankabangit. I don't know how it happened. Because those days when we were a young girl, nothing was was um uh being a command to Esma idolize I would okay eh gifunuk fana no ban because especially my window bazaar is mau to funuk pool and would be love but come to funuk by se come quack. Um but it back yum cool I always loved singing. But even at school, I used to sing in choirs and maguna ma concerts, uh, uh, closing schools. Who, uh, I, I, I would be there, you know. Since we used to see form uh, little groups, uh, see 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 all the uh, materials and 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 all that. But ugu thing is all that it was like a, just like a hobby on the side. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, my parents were looking for it. They will have it's about Tisha, no man give bonus. Yeah. Uh, in as much that uh, after getting high school, I went to train as a nurse. What? Yes. <laughs> you heard it first on Kaga <laughs> <laughs> But in the middle of it, I, uh, uh, I got pregnant. Okay. The boy I had to drop out. Uh, so I always say, um, irresponsible or, or responsible for all this, um, danam, because I'm trying to go bang zanging to pay and so end up. Ah, yeah, that was so, job. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you, you know, and after uh, when I dropped out, then I had to find another job. Job, putting got um, danam. What people need now is on your ballet. I'm asking you, Miss Nigum, to an ballet. Linda, you're talking, talking, talking. Linda, you're ballet. My my mother said to me, then my so for the go seven second to be going over pillar now so nang and like I had seven and about domestic work a lot of front line a a pitch front. Okay. Salbon and I'm a little bit of a seven. And um and then who welcome so me was starting in my in 1972. Young was Yeah, in 1972, and they were looking for singers and dancers and 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 to come and audition at AYMCA. Mm. And I went there, Bang Tata, Nabuganya, Nabu, definitely Muga Loyal, sis me. Yes. Yes. So at this point, you already know what you can sing, you already know that you can act a bit. I knew I could sing. But even in na la pomaktuasio audition because I didn't even know what auditioning meant. Mm. But you know, you just come and 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 and, and sing. But I, I I wasn't a dancer. I knew I could sing. Okay. So ma ma si la poge na kona we were taking it which is I G so when zanje sketch you know yeah it was something like that. And Sari has a umabata, and umabata was over successful. What the name Hambilea overseas? We went overseas now, but what if nice as seven and I a lap a pitch front is a seven of a willing you believe? 
uh saya overseas and we came back and we went back so we seven a lokuzen um a makishin and then after the course mabata was very successful even here in south africa people were talking about oh, this production as the case at end da, da, da. Uh, and Johannesburg, they were starting Ipindombi. Okay. And ba, ba auditioner for Ipindombi. It, it was then that I started to say, no, I love what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, I'm enjoying this. Uh, Ipindombi was the production that really took me around the world. I ended up in New York on Broadway. Oh, no. In the 60s? Uh, no, not 60s. Uh, now it was 1976. Okay. Yes, it was 1976. Um, and then, you know, one thing led to another. I must say, America, Nazosanga, Nabo Sismiriam Makeba, Nabo Prahuma Sekela, and I started working with them. And, and then it, 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 the then rest it is just, history. The rest is history. Yeah, the rest is history. Yes. Because I remember uh, we had television in South Africa in 1976. When I left, there was no television in South mm. Africa. But when I came back, and now I came back in the late 80s, that's when TV was 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 on. Ngakala uh, is good is nice in 1989. How was the transitioning from uh, theater into television? It was... Um, it was it was different yeah, yeah, because I'm mean, uh, Tina were not trained actors as uh, even uh, acting on stage every director became my teacher yeah and for television as well the, that the transition uh, whoever was directing us there because on television some you, you have to tone down mm. on on stage when you're acting on stage everything is up here yeah yes, yes. yes exactly <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah but on television everything is you know is is so is softer because the camera is here you acting for the camera you're not acting for the people out there. If you had to choose, which one would you choose? I still love theater. You still love theater. I still theater. love theater. That, that's why every every time, like I, I was in, in, in the United States now at the National Black Theater Festival. It's a very big uh, festival there. I get invited all the time because I always take work. I still I still do uh, a theater. I take work to, to, to that um, national uh, that. theater, yes. Yazima, yeah, you've mentioned America, I think, twice now in this conversation. Ngati Kona Litai, outside of, of the arts that you have with America that makes it very close to your heart. And I know, Wuti, there's a part of America that uh, whose people are also close to, to, to your hearts and vice versa, because you hold the key to the city of Kentucky. <laughs> you were given the key. Yes, I'm an honorary citizen. <laughs> How did that happen? And, and what's it's, this it's forever all, link that you have to America? It's also, uh, you, you know, because I, I got in, invited to to different um, uh, uh, universities in America to 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 do workshops and and and. Um, so, the University of Louisville which is in Kentucky, <laughs> had invited me for, for their summer session and I was doing theatre work there with, with the, with the uh, uh, African-American students. Mm. And, and, and after that, I was, I was, oh, I, I was, I was big, given this big honour mm. of uh, being the honorary citizen of Kentucky. And, and I've also visited other universities there uh, um like uh, in 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 Washington DC but at that time I was oh, but, but you must remember that I have lived in um, in America yeah 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 you, you know in the in the 80 in the 70s I lived there until for for more than 8 years for more than 8 years and then I went back in 1996 and lived in 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 Washington DC uh until 2000 Okay. Yeah. So it, it's it's like my second, second home. home. My sec uh, yeah. It's like my second home. Like I I get invited all the time. Like 
like the past uh, few weeks, I was there. When, mm. You know, I was invited to this national because uh, in nineteen in in twenty nineteen they honored me. They gave me a Living Legend Award. Oh, so this time they invited me to 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 go there and present an an award to another actress who is a big Broadway uh, actress, Miss um, uh, Vivian Reed. Okay. Yes. So mm. um. I'm a galelo aku in the many uh uh act and as a stage na television abanziga cool. Uh we know you for ama rolls amaninga wala lile. But the one that stands out for all of us, I think Ilayas good is nice. Yeah. Uh, how did it come about? How did it impact you and change your life? And what are some of the fondest memories of you working with that cast? Uh, it was good, it was nice. Oh, it was such a drastic change. Uh, this was number one. It was my first major television um, uh, production. And to think when we, we know when we're invited to do It's Good is Nice, it was like we're not even familiar. What a sitcom, sitcom. Oh, okay, we can make jokes. Oh, we can. Make people laugh, <laughs> you know? <laughs> we, and um, so. Uh, I was I was I was actually cast first um and and then and Daphne and U- Ustum was actually the last one to be cast because initially they wanted to um u u u u lo mhlongo bani baba ka somisa oh yeah undaba undaba yes yeah. Yeah. they wanted to undaba kanti undaba uzo uzohamba ne Sarafine mm. so and, and you know the, the things happen for for a reason mm. to think that when 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 it's good is nice was the first production the first 13 part yes 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 good is nice was not even called good is nice it was called it's a woman's world what wow. yes. <laughs> Wow. What a what a complete <laughs> disconnect. Hey, hey. Ngobo must stand up and just fazani. No Louise, the next door. No talk or anything. It's a woman's world. And then who's doing what was this you know black sheep in in, in, in our heart this cash. Yes. Uh, but because you know who 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 jo Whenever he he would speak, it would say, "Yeah, yes, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's me. Oh, oh, okay, okay. It's good. It's nice. <laughs> mm. uh, and that term, you know, just yes, yeah, we have very, yeah, yeah, but yeah, tatag and yeah, but to make all the cool mugu. Hey, it's good. It's nice. It's good. Mm. By the times we did the second this second season. The name changed to Good is Nice. Oh, nice. Wow. <laughs> I like that natural progression. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, it was, you know, what was amazing is that um, we, at that time, we, we didn't know anything about being famous or, and and we didn't even know what the, the show was going to be that successful. Mm. And Kumbula, the first week, he put me in jail. I was like, I'm going to go to the show. I'm going to go to the <laughs> but it became so 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 successful beyond uh, you know everybody's expectations now you worked with uh, an incredible cast yeah uh, oh babu choma fela yes. oh mam tefni somoka oh kok luisa like i i think for for the black arts industry especially when talking about sitcoms um the crop the crop was amazing for his goodest nice that cast was amazing now now talk to me ma about um the people who have helped shape your career especially the women because right now skuluma ngaban pesifazani you said earlier ukuthi when you came into the arts it was kind of by accident because it's not something wobuka umuntu umuntu esifazani uthi na nami ngifuna ukuba nje na but mm. then you got into the arts and surely there are some uh, women who who helped guide you you know into the industry or ungayaz na wawungazimisela ukuthi uzokungena kuyona u drive kuyona i would say u usis mire makeba Mm. played a big role um because i i think when i first first met her i was somebody in pintombi were in nigeria okay and she happened to stay at 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 the same hotel where where we were and 
I met her for the first time. Being Salangi is almost as Miriam got Angitu Akumbuluti, which she was banned here and mm-hmm. she was in she exile. Was in exile. Mm. And when I met her, she she actually, to to me, she looked like this queen. Mm. You know, I, I I was so excited. I remember the, the we stayed the whole the whole night with her in 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 her hotel room, just talking and. Until we were just young, we didn't even know about that. We didn't even not we didn't know we didn't really took our politics as a kaya seriously. You know, so we as we took in Zagala. Sure. And 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 Umiriam. After that, after I met her in Nigeria, and then I met her in New York, and then I started working with her, and she's the one who actually shaped me. You know. <coughs> Yes, oh, 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 if you if you take your work seriously as as an artist you have to respect your art you have to respect what you we have to remember that you are an ambassador when you are in in, 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 in everywhere you go you are a south african and you become an ambassador and you must know always know socially and politically about what is happening in your country and and respect yourself Mm-hmm. And uh, and I, that's when I really started taking my job as an entertainer seriously and respecting it as well. But now you're surrounded by so many singers, uh, you know, and you yourself can sing. Uh, that's that's the first thing in the arts that you realized. Who to your was against? You never person has a solo nomi album out to again she. Can't think he can record again. Okay. I've yeah. actually seen her singing love. We were once together in a gig <laughs> and she went onto the stage and performed. No, I live in Gaiz. Yeah. I mean, I get it. Yeah. I think it has a yes in a record and you record it in a record and no Sipo Kumede. You know, I worked with Sipo Kumede mm. in a group called Peace. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, I was the lead singer in that group. Um, and then I, I've also recorded. Like he, 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 he lent, he, 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 it's good as nice as an album, actually. I bo. What? Yeah. Yes, there are other songs in there. I bo. Togo, uchola no bani. Mina, uchola no boy masaka. Uh, in case you're just joining us now, in case you just switch your radio set on, this is Gaga CFM. You tune into the morning drive. This is the uprising, and today we're having a heart to heart chat uh, with Doctor uh, Tembim Charlie Jones. Yes, Gishoka yes. Kuriga Doctor. So, if you're going to join me, I'm going to be So, if you're going to join me, I'm going to be like, 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 I'm going to be Sizos Chablega Kulu, Ustaba Omkwele Songana, Sias Kenyangam Sevens Wake, Siam Paramisa Siam Kagamisa, and we're shining the spotlight on her and Sim Komangino Papeluka Lako. Absolutely deserved. Now, Ma, you have had one of the longest careers in acting that we've seen on, on, on the South African on the South African context. Um and the past two years for you have been also very busy because you have been honored left, right, and center. In fact, the past three years, because it's Ubalin Nogutin 2019, you were honored again in America. Uh, you were given an honorary doctorate for your uh, contribution to the arts not too long ago. The Kaka CFM Shiro's are honoring you as well. It's pity, pity, you are very, very busy. Can you now say, Yeah, this is it? I am fulfilled. Um, and so I can take a break now. Is do you feel like like you've achieved what you, what you were born to achieve? Um, I still feel that I can still go on and yes. on and on and on and on. <laughs> I but in general, saying oh, Doctor Coco. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, God has blessed me. Mm. It hasn't been easy all the time. I cannot say what you, you know. There, there have been times in my life when, when I felt like you know giving up, and but then then I'll say I'll give up, and then and then do what? Yeah. This is what God has given me. This is the talent that I have to nurture all the time, 
uh, I think what is is important in life is that when when you fall uh, and you you just ask for the strength to get up and you get up um i i feel you know like you know during the pandemic you know uh, 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 i got very sick i was um uh, i had a um, covid mm. there was a moment where when i thought i was going to die it was it was like you know i i, I felt like gimme pes wengcwaba lam you know i remember the yes. day i had to discharge I, i i discharged myself from the hospital i said i want to go home and the and the doctors and the nurse saying you won't even get home because Yo. you you need the oxygen i said i'm taking that chance i called my 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 friend who who baby girl and i said baby come and get me now i don't want to die in this hospital and she, she and she actually came she she was there remember she because they were not allowing anybody to come in there and, and she just came in and and they took me home at that time i had felt i was feeling okay my children are in cape town they were supposed to come it was december they were su- supposed to come for for christmas and spend christmas with me here they couldn't they couldn't come as we stopped them because now i you know i i had covid but at the time i i felt wow you know life is so short mm. this thing can be taken away from you this life you you don't respect when you have it uh, when you walk around you don't sit and think and say oh god thank you thank you for work, for for giving me another day thank you for you, you know for for giving me a chance to come to work again and and be in jabs and and felix and mm. people are listening to me all the time and thank you for that you know I, i said okay maybe there is a lesson that I, i i i am i am learning here that really sometimes we have to sit and just say thank you you know wow. and be thankful so i am grateful to god that he, she 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 god <laughs> <laughs> has given me this life to be able to go on and do what i love to do and today i work with a lot of young people now and um, and i know i have this wisdom that i have to pass on, pass on, pass it on to them uh, i also learn from them because they you know nowadays new things they come up Yeah. You know all these technical things um, on social media during my time there was no social media. There was no television when there you started. There was no television. <laughs> so I learned a lot from young people too. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we feed from each other. Awesome. Yeah. There you have it, Dr. Tembi Mchali Jones. Uh, uh, she was born in Konala Mkumbane, Keto Mena, and was humble, and was a kid, 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 and then uh, was a humble, and she was a kid, and 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 named after you a uh, good doctor uh, what message do you have for women out there others trying to find themselves others maybe having lost their footing like you also did mm. with covid uh, others maybe just um, lost hope uh, others maybe hopeful about the future what would you say to that woman like what's that special ingredient that they need where can they go to find strength whenever they need strength i think as um as women we need to support each other yes ma'am we need to talk to each other we need to listen to each other um is uh, is is ningi we we compete with with against each other instead mm. of lifting it, it, each other and and ukunento engasiza ngayo la instead ukuthi omunye my will oh hi you know you know if we if you can really learn to lift it, lift each other up yeah and 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 sihloni phane um because we are brilliant we are like in 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 my um industry 
I see very talented young women all the time. Um, and and, and I, I just say to, I always say to them, I hope you understand and know what you have mm. and respect what you have. And, and because we all, we are all gifted. We all have a gift. They always say, you have your own gift. The most important thing is to find that gift. Yeah. You don't know what your gift is. Yeah. Mm. Find your gift, then you'll fly. 100%. Oh, love it. Love it. But I love also, it. Any, any passing words, Jeff, as we're wrapping up? I'm so full of <laughs> awe right now. <laughs> it's not even parting words. I'm not going to say You are one of the most youthful, older women that I have ever seen. Your face, hardly any wrinkles. Your body, you're still in good health. Like... Uh, uh, What's your secret to youthfulness? Because I feel like sometimes we get like, "This book of Farrelly, it's a secret to youth." And then you put the guitar in the middle. Then you put the guitar in the middle. Then you put the What is it that keeps you so youthful? Is it working for so long? Is it working with young people? What is it? Is your inner happiness? Yeah. You, you know, I I try to keep myself as happy as I can. I try to to tell myself I am the most important person in myself. Mm. Um, um, I am the only person that that will. So I have to take care of myself. Um, it's, it's not that sometimes we have a number of disappointments in life, but I, I really try to take, off, take care of my own yeah. spiritually, mm. you know, and nurse, nurse myself. But if we have True. Yeah, true. Well, Got there it. you have it. Um, I don't know. I feel some type of way. I feel so tender after having had that. Who says like No, I can't give it. Who says Uh, we're celebrating women. I wish we celebrated our women all year round. But we bid farewell to the month of August and we bid farewell in style and with a bang with the Shiros. And yes, we celebrate under the banner and name of the legendary Dr. Tembi Mjali Jones. Thank you so much. <laughs>